see today we are going to perform the endometrial disease here. For this process we want to prepare the patients from prior. Normally in a day 21 of the menstrual cycle we perform this test. Prior to hours of this procedure we put one cycle of medicines that is a mesoprostol medicines for vaginally or under the patient's tongue and to swallow it. It will make the cervix soft and then uh, half hour before the procedure we give an injection for painkiller because it is not a procedure which will be done under anesthesia it is a normal day to day based procedure where after giving the painkiller within 30 minutes we perform the procedure so that patient feels less pain this endotelial procedure is a day care procedure where we don't give any anesthesia uh, but in certain cases where there is a history of cervical stenosis where there is history of any cavity related problem we prefer doing it under UHG guidance if it is not there if we feel free that during the last IVF uh, transfer uh, it was the catheter we can we could put uh, smoothly and we can uh, reach the cavity smoothly then we don't take the UHG guidance otherwise we often seek the UHG guidance also. Now, what is the implication of doing this TBPCR procedure? We Indian and Asian women, we have the prone, we are prone to have genetic tuberculosis, that is tuberculosis in the uterus. What is the implication of it? If it is there, then it hinders the implantations. A patient who is having repeated implantation failure in IVF procedure or in the endometrial thickness study where we are getting thin endometrium or where we are failed to make the endometrium, these are the implications where we should do the endometrial TBPCR testing. If it is becoming negative, then it's okay. But if it has become positive, then we have to stop the treatment procedure. We first have to offer the patient the tuberculosis treatment and then followed by that, we will be again starting our frozen embryo transfer procedure. Today, we are going to do the endometrial TBPCR procedure. First, we, are, we will be taking the speculum. This is the speculum I am going to insert pervaginally. But before that, I will put some anesthetic gel over it so that the patient doesn't feel any pain. Sister, please put some gel. Now I am going to clean the cervical course. Now I am going to take the endometrial pipel. Now I am going to insert it in the through the os into the uterine cavity. Now I am inside the uterine cavity. I have crossed the internal os. Now I am collecting the endometrial tissue. Two to three strokes are enough to collect the required endometrial tissue. Once it is done, I am putting it back in the container which contains nothing but the normal saline. I will send this sample for the TPCR testing. Thank you for the video.